I'm Puma with Blood Feather Bushcraft. Today's topics, cooperating with the plow and putting your chains on without moving the vehicle. Before taking off on holiday travel on some of these mountain roads, you should equip your vehicle. Jack, lug wrench, a spare tire in sound condition, jumper cables, flare, toe strap, shovel. If you get stuck for any length of time, you want to have extra warm clothes, sleeping bag, blanket, boots, hats, glove, food and water, and don't forget an ice scraper. <laughs> That's a good habit to keep your windshield wipers off the windshield. They can freeze to the windshield overnight and tear your windshield wipers off. While I'm wiping this off, I'm gonna go ahead and start the car so the defroster can do its job. Another quick tip is just keep the snow off the top of the door like this. It'll keep a big load of snow from falling inside the car on you. Keep the whole vehicle clear. It's gonna be better on the suspension overall. And it's actually the law. You gotta clear off the license plate, all the windows, and the lights. It's actually the law as well. Just clear the whole vehicle. You've got an intake here for your defrost. Kind of want to open that up. This is one of the town snow stakes. This marks the edge of the road. If you're parked near the edge of the road or at all questionable, clear your vehicle off the best you can. Maybe even find something to market for the plow. Believe it or not, this is a truck. You're going to wait till spring, market for the plow. Look at that. These guys, on the other hand, they know what's up. Get out of the way of the plow as soon as you hear it, even if it's 2 a.m. Get on out, move your cars. It's easier in the long run. The benefits of cooperating with the plow and your neighbors is you get a nice clear spot, easy in, easy out, all winter long. Traveling these mountain roads, there's laws regarding carrying chains. You must carry chains at all times. Now, there's signs on the side of the road that'll tell you R1, R2, or R3, the status of the conditions. If you don't see those signs due to weather or otherwise, call Caltrans or your other local service provider and they'll update you. Now, R1 is chains are required on two-wheel drive vehicles. Four-wheel drive with snow tires is okay. R2 chains on all vehicles, four-wheel drive with snow tires on all four is okay. Now if you're going to chain up your four-wheel drive, put it on the front tires. That's like a cat on carpet. R3, chains are required on all vehicles regardless, no exceptions, and two-wheel drive just isn't suggested. Now most of the time the highways will be shut down before R3 is imposed. So stay updated and that'll make for a safer drive. Safety first, yours and everybody else's on the road. Stopping just anywhere you're getting stuck and laying in the road, putting your chains on, is very unsafe. You wanna look for a spot that's well out of traffic. You wanna stay away from chicanes and blind turns. You wanna stay away from narrow spots in the road. When you find a spot, pull off well out of the traffic and turn on your hazard lights. I'm going to show you how to put these chains on without moving the vehicle. And when you go to get your chains, they're sized on the sides. A lot of chains fit many different sizes. You want to check the size of your tire on the sidewall here. That'll let you know what you got to get. If you have problems, ask the dealer. I'm going to show you how to put these on without moving the vehicle. First things first, you ought to know whether you got front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, all wheel drive or four wheel drive. We're dealing with real wheel drive here. These chains are put together. They're bent over right here. There's a hook. You want that hook facing away from the tires. You want your latch, final latch on the outside. And you want to 
scrape this over the top of the tire, kind of sizing it. Put a long end in the back here, and then loosen it, the whole thing. Drape it over the top and around the back. This way, you don't even have to lay down. You can just reach around, grab the back hook, hook that one first. Match it up on the footprint of the tire at the bottom here. This is the master hook. You want this on the outside of the tire. These bungees are to tighten up the chain. I like to use two, just overkill. It also doesn't hurt to carry zip ties and a way to cut them. If you've got any extra tag chain hanging off, It'll destroy your vehicle. You're gonna hear it thumping. Stop, fix that. And again, I use two bungees just to really get these things tight. And you wanna tighten these every 20 miles or so. Just stop until they're really on here. Try not to go over 20 miles per hour. And if you do get stuck, don't spin your tires. You'll destroy your tires, the chains, possibly the, your vehicle. Yeah, you don't want to be this guy. I'm surprised he hasn't gotten towed yet. I'm surprised he hasn't gotten creamed yet by the plow. 